On to run number six, my favorite one, because we'll get to assemble the BISA build and start blasting. From Alsuda Waypoint, head southeast. One event, one altar, claim Tarsarak Waypoint, then altar, altar, venture into the halls of the damned and complete it to unlock the aspect of disobedience. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Doing all those events will have you farm several tens of veiled crystals and enough gold to imprint six aspects onto your rare items. Go to the occultist and imprint in this order. Imprint your gloves with the aspect of piercing cold and your best ring with the aspect of efficiency. Then imprint your pants with the aspect of disobedience, your chest armor with the aspect of the protector, your helm with the eluding aspect, and your boots with the aspect of the bounding conduit. Congratulations, you have assembled a good portion of the Baisa build. But we still need two more aspects. One for mana generation that will make your life so much better. And one of the best aspects for damage, the aspect of control. Speaking of the aspect of control, we are going to our first zone that is of higher level than us. Wait a minute. Is an incomplete Baisa build able to deal with a zone and a dungeon that are five levels higher than us? Hell yeah. At this stage, you should be level 30 if you followed the routes I provided. You'll have two enchantment slots, a solid build and a dream. But we'll get to those details later on when we discuss about the various builds you're going to be using. For now, let's just stick to the farming route. TP to Tarsarak Waypoint, do the event southwest, claim one altar here, then enter the level 35 zone, get this altar here and this one there, then enter the sunken library and clear this dungeon. By clearing it, you will unlock the aspect of control and complete the first renowned milestone for Kejistan at the same time. Go back to the occultist and imprint the aspect of control on your amulet. You will notice a huge power spike with this aspect. Now the last remaining piece of the puzzle is to completely solve the mana issue by getting the prodigy's aspect. Hi everyone, Wismeril here. This video has been extracted from the ultimate leveling guide in which I designed the most optimal route to level up to 50 and beyond. The full video can be found here in the YouTube suggestion page. Go check it out, it is really worth your time. It has all the details on just every topic you need to know during leveling. It will also answer all the questions you're asking yourself at that stage of the game. Happy leveling. I'll see you in Sanctuary, Wanderer.